Hello there, Leo, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are asking Spirit, what is the next big great thing on your path? And uh, we'll also take a look at any obstacles or blocks that are preventing this wonderful new thing coming in more quickly. And if you're resonating with the message or enjoy the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, so let's get started, Leo. Let's see, what is the next big thing coming on your path? What do you have ahead? Ooh, exchanging gifts. That's a nice energy about giving up oh, a <laughs> loyal heart. Nice, and truth be told, really nice. Um, Soulmates on the bottom, Leo, wow. And those cards were just like almost literally falling right out of the deck. So this is about, um, it could be a new or a returning or a romantic relationship that you're already in. This is really more like a romantic relationship, but it could be a business partner. But there may have been something um, that you with this person in the past that was not balanced, but now it is going to be balanced. Like they may be coming in and, and being more honest or truthful in this relationship. Or this could be a new person on your path that is coming in and it's going to be like a really honest, authentic type of person that gives and takes um, equally in this relationship. And, you know, with soulmate and loyal heart, I mean, this is like a true love relationship. Yeah, they're going to see the treasure in you. And you're going to see the treasure in them. It's kind of like a very balanced uh, relationship. Really nice, Leo. Really nice. So let's go to the tarot. We're going to first take a look at the present energy with this. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you're single. Um... And looking good, like you always do, Leo. Looking good, working on your career, all of that. Not really, in a, a in a sense, wanting necessarily a relationship. It's kind of like sitting back and, well, if it comes, it comes. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, kind of that energy. But what is <laughs> happening is that behind the scenes, you have somebody coming in. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is considered kind of like the single lady card. And gender doesn't matter, but just kind of like, yeah, loving your life. Like there's, like there's nothing wrong with her life at all, right? I mean, she has her money. She looks good. She has, she's taking care of our house. She has friends. She has family. Everything's good. Okay, so what is your obstacle? Seven of Wands having a hard time getting on top of some situation. So it could be, you know, a person in the past. It could be the person that you're dealing with in this connection. Um, but there's something that you're having a hard time, kind of like getting over or getting on top of a situation that you're having a hard time dealing with in one way or another. And, you know, since the truth be told is here, it's kind of like, I'm kind of wondering, is that what you're having a hard time getting over? Is like, yeah, you, you want to know the truth, right? Okay, so your advice is to love yourself. The Queen of Cups is just an energy, very much like this. Like, keep doing what you're doing. Working on your career, working on yourself, loving yourself, loving your life loving your work, loving the people that are in your life, um, and being really intuitive, really in your heart space. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is kind of like, you know, going through every day and, and doing what you need to do and enjoying your life. But the Queen of Cups is a little bit deeper, really understands her worth, really is in her heart space, really loves the people around her, and as well as herself, very intuitive, very much in her heart space. Whereas the Nine of Pentacles is just kind of like going through life. I mean, it's a good energy, but it is kind of like, since this is your advice, it's like, do what you're doing right now, but kind of get more into your heart space, um, more into a sense of loving yourself, of, what, of recognizing your own worth, like what you have had to go through perhaps in the past that you're having a little trouble um getting over okay and then oh look at this your outcome is the nine of cups whatever you're hoping and dreaming for is going to come true 
And then King of Pentacles on the bottom. So King of Pentacles is the spouse card, okay? Uh, gender doesn't matter. It's the spouse card. It's, um, you know, kind of like uh, the spouse that you really want. Somebody that's really stable, financially stable, but also kind of just grounded. You know, just like a, a good person, a good spouse. Really nice. Okay. So, Leo, let's take a look. We're going to clarify these. How about this Nine of Pentacles? What do we have here? Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, King of Swords, Justice. On the bottom, moving away from a situation. Yeah, so you're, you're in this energy of being independent, single. You could be separated from an air sign possibly a Libra because we have a King of Swords and the Justice card. But, uh, King of Swords is air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Justice is Libra. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it's kind of like having a hard time seeing how something what is balanced or you had a relationship that was not balanced. And it's kind of like You've really worked to try to bring your life back into balance. But what you don't want, one reason you may be holding back from love is because, well, yeah, the last time I was in love, guess what? <laughs> it was not balanced. I was doing all the work. I was paying all the bills. I was, you know, whatever. Um, I was giving all the love, right? It was unrequited. Um, and so this is kind of, you know, your energy of like, no, I'm going to cut out love because, you know, it, it wasn't balanced in the past. You may have had several relationships where it wasn't balanced. Or it could be that you're in a relationship that isn't balanced and you're trying to cut that out. You know, um, that either that person out of your life or that energy of something not being balanced. Now, if you think that this is more, you know, resonating more for a job that you have, this would be, you know, kind of like a job, like you want to go out on your own, start your own business or, you know, look for another job because you feel like you're not appreciated. You know, um, there's some imbalance, you know, you could... Either, you know, you're being paid well, but you're not appreciated or you're appreciated maybe, but you're not paid very well. You know, there's some imbalance in your work or in a relationship. And because we have the soulmate and the loyal heart, I kind of feel like this is more of a romantic reading, but it could be a business partner. Okay, seven of wands. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, you really want something. You're kind of all up in your head. There may be somebody you want an apology from, from the past, but you're kind of up in your head. Um, you're having a hard time finding a relationship that um, can go the test of time, that's really stable. Financially stable, but emotionally stable too, that you think you can stay in, that also has passion right? With the page of wands. You're just kind of up in your head about it. Um, I do think that the message here is get back into your heart. It's kind of like you're blocking love or you're blocking this new love or something that you're trying to bring into your life because you're kind of like trying to protect yourself so much that you're just preventing anything new from coming in. It's kind of, It's kind of like you have to you have to realize that, you know, um, you can't control everything. If you control everything in your life, you're not really going to have anything in your life. And so it's, um, I'm getting a sense that you may feel like you can't trust yourself. And so you may need to trust yourself when it comes to choosing a love partner or a business partner or a job or however this is resonating for you. Like it's getting back into telling yourself the truth, giving yourself compassion, understanding that you did the best that you could in this situation in the past. And it's about loving yourself. For some of you, you know, this loyal heart is could represent like you just kind of almost falling in love with yourself again. And I know that sounds kind of um, maybe silly, but there is something about like falling in love with yourself, trusting yourself, realizing that no matter what happens, you have your own back. 
right? You can stand up and be in this Nine of Pentacles energy again tomorrow without a problem, right? Like you're not, um, you're not going to be, you know, super sad or in the corner, you know, uh, crying the rest of your life. Like you have what it takes to do what you need to do in order to, to always be successful in whatever it is that you want to do. And Leo, that is so true about you. Okay, so let's take a look at this Queen of Cups. Three of Wands, Ten of Cups, Hangman, Tower. Yeah, it's kind of like as soon as you really step into this energy of loving yourself. And almost, I get the sense of like almost like talking to yourself. Like, hey, you're doing a great job today. Oh, don't you look good? You know, like really kind of recognizing just how special you are. You have been waiting a long time. You have. We have two cards of waiting, Hangman and Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for that special person, that Ten of Cups that takes you over the moon. You know, it's kind of that energy. And it's almost like you have this epiphany about yourself that helps to bring this energy in because the tower can be about an epiphany. Like all of a sudden you tell yourself the truth, you know, um, you can't control. I'm getting this message and I, it may just resonate with a couple of you, but you know, you can't control what other people can do to you or to others. All that you can do is control the way you react. And it's about, you know, I feel like for some of you, you have come back from something that was really difficult and you have come back, right? But it's kind of like you don't trust yourself because that situation, you felt like somebody really took advantage of you, you know, with the exchanging gifts. Like they really took advantage of you. And, you know, in some way, you don't trust yourself to make decisions again or you don't, you don't think that um, you should take any more risks because when you took this risk in the past, it led you down this road um, that, you know, ended not very well and you've had to really work to come back from it. But the message that I'm getting here is that you gained so much strength from that situation. Like you really did come back from it. And so now it's about just loving yourself for what you have so that you have worked so hard for. Like the King of Pentacles understands, you know, here underneath this is the Ace of Cups, like truly celebrating everything that you have accomplished on your own. Because you have done this on your own. I mean, there's an energy here of doing something, you know, really coming back from something on your own. And now you're going to have a loyal heart. But you had to first learn how to love yourself. You could have been in toxic situations. Yeah, it's kind of like, wow, look at this. All of this underneath here. My goodness, five major arcana. So you have the tower. You're going to have this epiphany that you can do things on your own. That you can jump off the cliff and trust yourself to go in the right direction. To land on your feet because you will. And this brings in like this huge transformation in you and helps you to step into this new world. And all of this was on your divine path. It was all, you know, part of the lesson that you had to learn, Leo. And it wasn't an easy lesson, but by stepping into this energy of loving yourself, you bring in everything that you've ever hoped or dreamt of. Really nice. So let's take a look at this nine of cups. What do we have here? The Five of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Sun. Yeah, moving on, look at the Fool on the bottom. You really are stepping into like a new approach to love, a new approach to a business, um, opportunity or partnership. But it's like you're, you're, you've learned some lesson that you really need to learn about, I don't know what that was. Okay, <laughs> you really learned some lesson you need to learn about relationships in order to go to this next level and to bring in this true soulmate. Like you have to go through all those 
past bad relationships or whatever in order to get this sunshine. You had to, you know, basically in order to get everything that you wanted, you had to go through that. It was part of your spiritual journey. But look at this. The sun comes out. You have all of the abundance. You have all of the joy. You have everything you've ever wanted. Wow. Such a nice energy. Oh, Leo, this is beautiful. Okay, so let's go to your cosmic journey. Let's see what we have here. I don't know what that sound was. I don't know if it picked up on the microphone or not. Really kind of different. Okay, so cosmic journey. The hero of your cosmic journey. Oh my goodness, this is so lovely. Yeah, this is you realizing that you are the hero of your own life. Like you don't need anybody else in your life because you can trust yourself. You have all the skills, all the talents, all the intelligence, all the beauty, all the charisma, all the patience, all the insight, the intuition, everything that you need, you already have within you. And it's just recognizing that. Like when you recognize, I don't need anybody else. I can do this on my own. It's like the soulmate comes in, right? <laughs> it's so lovely. So lovely. And it's so true. Like, it's uh, when you least expect it, right? It's like when you least expect it. When you no longer want it, then all of a sudden it shows up. Beliefs. We all have certain beliefs that help us or can trap us and keep us from moving toward creative solutions. And I think that that's it. Like, I think your obstacle is that you feel like you can't trust yourself or... You have to have a person in your life. Like you have to have a business partner or you have to have a romantic partner. It's like you had to learn that that belief system was not true. Like you don't have to. You may want to, but you don't have to. Wow, that popped out. <laughs> and here is your lover's oracle card. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And I think that that is part of this is that in the past you may have, like when a situation came on your path, you may have jumped into it with both feet. Um, but it is a little bit about waiting because by waiting, you're going to ask the right questions, which will help you to trust your own self. Um, and to go with your intuition. You know, the Queen of Cups is very intuitive. You know, she doesn't jump into anything. You know, she asks her questions, she she meditates maybe, she thinks about it, she gets into our heart space, and she allows things to happen without like a lot of action, Leo. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Well, Leo, I do, um, okay, <laughs> they asked me to pull a couple of romance angel cards, so we'll do that. Let's see what we have here. They haven't asked me to do that, so we'll do. New love. It is. Look at that. I, I really do think this is a new person. I don't think it's somebody returning from the past. But it could be, and this makes sense because you have loyal heart and soulmates. It could be somebody that you, um, that you have known in the past, but not romantically, you know, connected. So, you know, um, somebody that you went to college with or you knew as kids or, you know, was in your social circle years ago or something. Or it could be somebody that you knew in a previous life um, and you're going to connect again. And that makes sense with this loyal heart and soulmate because a lot of times that is, you know, a past life connection. And then, yeah, for some of you, you have been separated from somebody. You may be thinking about that person. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversation on the bottom. But I think for a lot of you, this is a new love coming in. This is a new love. If it is somebody that you're separated from, I think that the way you go into this relationship, if you do decide to reunite, is on a new level. It's like just... um. Just having it be really open, open conversations and, you know, being really truthful. Very balanced. <laughs> Very balanced. 
Well, Leo, um, this was a wonderful reading. I really enjoyed doing it for you. If it resonated with you or you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.